the comprehensive film production workflow tool producer came out with Mark II of their software. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi guys, this is Nino from Synity. I'm here with Xaver from Producer at IBC 2024. How are you, Xaver? Yeah, I'm really great. Uh, it's always the madness of IBC in the beginning to get used to it, but I think I'm in the flow now. So, We've done a couple of things together. We've, done a, we've talked about Producer and what it is, but for people who haven't seen those videos, can you give them a two-sentence rundown of what Producer does? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm a filmmaker from my background. I always was hoping there's a better way of organizing the whole production process. So that's exactly what we did. We structured the whole production process, one place that you can collaborate, communicate where all your assets are on, really that to, to help eliminate the misunderstanding, miscommunication, because and also just to get it down to one tool, because we are paying for too many tools, yeah, and it's a lot of costs uh, that, that we are losing by doing that. So that, I think that's the essentials of producer. Great, and why are we standing in front of the Microsoft booth here at IBC? So we are running off Azure, yeah, this is in, in the background. And, uh, and Which is Microsoft's cloud service, right? Correct, yeah, there's three big, three big ones. It's Google, AWS, and Azure. We chose Azure because it's the best positioned in the, in the corporate section, in small to medium enterprises, uh, Fortune 500 companies. Uh, and this is kind of essential for companies. So that's why we, we positioned ourselves strategically with them. But on top of that, Microsoft has been extremely supportive for us. They love the product. Uh, we are the only one in, in their kind within on the Azure uh, world. Uh, and, and, and I think uh, they've helped us to be by NAB uh, last year. Uh, they helped us again to be here. So um, I think it's also a personal relationship. And uh, we chose them and because they, they're looking after us. Well, really cool. I mean, being endorsed by such a giant means something, right? I mean, it's like they wouldn't do that with anybody. So, yeah, really cool. Yeah, no, I, I'm thankful for this. And that's why I will also do my share and, 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 and share how great they, were, they, they are for us on the journey. Of course, ultimately, it's about making money. Yeah. Uh, and, but they do see the potential in producer. And uh, we are reaching now 10,000 users on the application. This is also increasing consumption because ultimately it's about consumption. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and they see it. They, they're seeing that the things are moving. Uh, and that, that's, of course, super helpful. So we've done a couple of videos about the features of Producer. You've just released a version two, like a major update to the functions. Can you give us a rundown of what's new and what's been added? Yeah, so since a year ago, we really came out with the application. We, uh, it was all about making it bulletproof, Yeah, listening to the users. So all of these users that came on, we listened to them and we improved. Yeah. And I think what we also did as a software as a service, we're rolling out not just once uh, every year, we roll out every week new features. Yeah, But this time we're bringing out calendar. Yeah, And it's like a gone chart. And it's really producers all about seeing the whole production in one glance. So that's why I think gone chart is, is really going more in that direction to have a project, to have an overview over the whole thing. And it's, it's one of our biggest features right now. It's in a beta phase. We have about 15 users using it actively, giving us feedback, and we're improving. And in the next month or so, we will bring out the, the real thing. First, it will be just on projects, and then it's going to be over all of your projects. And I think a lot of users, they, they, they need that. Uh, they want to have, they want to see the whole production process in one glance, especially on an executive level. Yeah, they want to see and they want to know exactly where are we standing, so that they can say, okay, there's a gap. Let's push something else in there because we need to optimize. We need to work more efficient. And uh, since if you're working with point-to-point -point solutions, it's hard to find out where do I put somebody in. But well, and they, they usually, the, if you use different solutions, they're not synchronizing each other. So you're like, you, you change you know, project delivery date in one thing and then you forget to update the calendar and stuff like that. So it's great if it's all connected. Absolutely, yeah, that it's, it's all about one connection, one and, and like one single source of truth or how we call it a, a stories, um, story centric workflow, yeah. yeah. So Gantt charts means better project management, better time management in terms of like from pre-production to production and post-production, right? Exactly, and it's also like task management. So you you can see, I can assign people to a specific task. I can see visually by the picture, ah, he's on that one. I can see how far they are in the step, and I know what's what's coming. Especially when you're working with clients, yeah. 
they are often are maybe impatient. They don't know what, what, why do we need this specific step there? What is props, for example? But when you see it like this, you see, okay, I have a, I have a feeling of calmness. These guys know what they're doing. They're professional. They, under, they, it's in control, the whole thing. And I think it, it, it helps clients have peace of mind that the production is moving in the right direction. One very important part is, like, if you have too many revision rounds, yeah, it, it drives us production companies down into the ground because sometimes you're scared to tell the client, yeah, but you cannot do another round. And so, but if it's written there, they stick to it. So they know that they understand they cannot just do keep on revision. That's one thing I learned early on when producing something to tell them one or two revision rounds are included. Anything above that needs to be paid extra. Otherwise, like you said, I mean, you spend most of the time in the edit essentially right so this can eat up so much time otherwise yeah. absolutely but but talking about money can often res destroy relationships but if it's written there yeah uh, there's no you don't talk about it you just do yeah. yeah what else is new in the new version yeah i mean there's m thousands of small little things but one of the big things that we're working now is we call it conversational interaction and it's extracting from brief it extracts your vision and your mission and uh, those type of things is really now we're going on agency level work um, and this will really, and it's strengthened, it's, we are using ChatGPT in the background, but we developed our own algorithm and the whole thing. It's not coming out straight away now, but again, we are talking to users, interacting with users, trying to improve that thing. And this will be a massive update. That's probably going to be V3. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, I, we will roll it out small, little increments. So where do you see producer going from here? I mean, like your vision for the next, let's say, where do you see it in five years? Also in terms of functionality? Yeah, I, I think that the dream is just to have one tool, to have it all together in one place. Yeah, there is there is many more things that you can say. Yeah, on a, on all the certificates that there is in the world, uh, everybody is working in a in a different way, helping to be it to be a little bit more adaptable to everybody. But where we see the big potential is with in-house content creation. Yeah, um, most of our users are 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 say. I want to say lesser educated users within the film industry. And since we supply them the whole production process, if I can use one example from a company called uh, Charthouse in, the, in, the, in Los Angeles, they bring in every year five interns yeah, to, get, to help them with the production process. That takes them six months before these interns can send successfully a call sheet out because they first need to learn. With producer, they did it in three days because you give them the whole structure. There's nothing to do. If you create storyboard, Everything else, your shot list, your scheduling, your call sheet is ready. So there is a huge um, potential there within in-house companies to help them educate them, help them to work like filmmakers so they feel like they are pros, but it's in, in a super easy way because filmmaking can be so complicated, but here we're structuring it so easy. So for people who haven't tried Producer yet, you have a free version online. What is included in the free version and you know when when do I want to upgrade to a paid version? So right now, uh, it's uh, everything is included in the free version. Yeah, um, so you can try it out. But after seven days, yeah, uh, if you didn't decide to to continue, yeah, it, you are just you are limited. You're so like like the PDF, you cannot export the PDF. Um, you need to. It's part of the paid version. And calendar, for example, right now it's available to everybody. But at the end of the year. Um, so until the end of the year, these prices and everything is all fixed as it is. But at the end of the year, we're going to go up with the prices because the demand is now getting bigger. Uh, we feel like the need, especially on the bigger companies, are, are really increasing a lot. And um, I think it, it, it justifies it right now because the application is stable, especially on, on, on the Gaunt chart calendar. It really elevates the game. And I think it's also important to mention that you add a lot of features that people use different tools for. I mean, we mentioned it before, but even, you know, functionality of what people, a lot of people use Frame.io, for example, you have that built in, right? Exactly. So uh, if you, let's start with with um, the, a storyboard tool. Yeah, It's there, yeah. Um, because you create storyboard, the, the shot list is, is ready, your scheduling is there. So it, it flows throughout. Uh, for for Frame.io, yes, it's a wonderful tool, but again, it's another tool that you have to pay and it's not cheap, yeah, so it's integrated inside there, but all file transferring. So so there is no need for, we transfer massive, Vimeo, none of those tools. You can transfer everything through producer. So you're eliminating a lot of tools and now I'm not even talking about the agency work. And it's fast. I mean, we tried the upload, it's fast because that's a big thing, right? I've tried a lot of other smaller tools in the past, which try to mimic Frame.io, 
and their stuff is fast, but yours is fast too, you know, like because a lot of others, the upload speed is just simply not there. But yeah. Yeah, and then you're only talking about one tool. That's exactly, it. exactly. Yeah, and we have 10, 20 tools within one application. But that also goes back to the support that we're getting from Microsoft, that we have a secure system, a trusted system that has different regions. That's also very important. We have three regions applied. Uh, it's, it's Europe, we have North America, and we have South America, and we will deploy further on in Australia uh, coming soon. But those things radically help you to improve the speed. Also, you feel secure. I say, where's my data safe? No, it's in Europe. It's exactly where I'm working. Or it's in America, it's, it's close to me. So you feel secure and, you, and, and, and it works fast. Awesome. Anything else to add? No, I, I just think like uh, we have some crazy good filmmakers now, uh, really like uh, guys like Solomon Lighthelm uh, starting to use producer now. And I mean, this is really influential people. And um, also on feature film guys, these guys in the background, Char uh, Charthouse, they did four feature films. They working on all of these things on producer. So producer is stepping up the game, working with really great people. And I think it's, it's a super exciting year going forward. Awesome, I'm looking forward to do at some point another catch up video and maybe feature one of those people, you know, like with a big production, if they're able to share. Sure, Very sure. I, I'm sure Solomon will, will jump in. Uh, he will also participate in the Locarno Film Festival. And those things will help move the needle a lot for producer, especially if you see a real project. Uh, that is made by a high-level person and it's screening, screened by the Locarno Film Festival. I think those things carries weight, yeah. Of course. Thank you, Xavier. Awesome. <laughs> cool interview. It's almost like a tradition now to catch up with you. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinity for a lot more from IBC 2024. And do not forget to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.